Welcome to the Tomorrow Biostasis YouTube channel. Today, I will show you what we do with these ambulances and what SST means. So at Tomorrow Biostasis, we use these ambulances for what is called SST. That means standby, stabilization and transport. But what, it, what it means is that for standby, the team is being sent, our medical team with these ambulances being sent to wherever the patient is. And when being on standby, should the patient die, we go to the next step, which is stabilization. That means we try to cool down the patient as quick as possible and use a variety of other me medical techniques to stabilize the patient so that no further degradation is happening after legal death. And then standby, the last part, is transporting the patient to one of the cryopreservation facilities where the rest of the procedure can be completed. So when we get one of the emergency notifications from one of our members, for example by phone or through one of our apps that we will release soon for emergency uh, handling, then we will dispatch with our team in one of these ambulances, this is here the Berlin one, directly to wherever the patient is to make sure we're just on time to start with prior preservation without any delay. So let's assume we have now reached the location of the patient. The patient has been declared dead and we have just taken over the patient. This is what we do in the ambulance. So the first step is that the patient is being placed in an ice bath, just like that, where a combination of ice and water is being used to cool down the patient as quick as possible. The ice water is circulated around the patient through these tubes here and through the cooling mast to make sure that the cooling effect is maximized. Also, a chest compression device, just like you would imagine in a medical hospital for CPR, is placed on the chest of the patient to circulate the rest of the blood through the patient to optimize again the cooling uh, effect. And last but not least, medication is given to the patient to reduce metabolic activity on a cellular level even further. While this whole procedure is going on, the patient is monitored on a variety of different metrics from pressure to temperature to what is called end tidal CO2 and so on and so on to make sure the cooling and the cryoprotection process is going smooth and sound. Now, should the patient be too far away from one of the cryopreservation facilities, for example in Switzerland, then this ambulance is equipped to be able to do the whole cryoprotection process on site. For this, in this cupboard here, all the equipment, all the medical equipment, including all the surgical equipment, is available to the whole perfusion and cool down to negative minus 80 degrees on site. Before we can cool down lower than zero degrees Celsius, we need to perfuse a cryoprotective agent. This is a medical cryoprotective agent that stops ice crystal formation in the body. For this, a so-called perfusion circuit is being used. This system is basically a hard lung machine that allows us to perfuse cryoprotective agent into the blood line, the blood system of the patient to stop ice formation. The system that we have in here is of course just the test, test and, and training system. For every patient, a new sterile system would be used. The ambulance is also equipped with a range of different supportive structures. For example, you have these large ice coolers here that are being used to bring any amount of ice that you might need and cooled, pre-cooled cryoprotective agent. You have oxygen supply to be able to provide oxygen in certain circumstances. You have active 
compressor coolers to bring higher concentrations of cryoprotective agent um, that need to be cooled at minus 20 degrees. You have monitoring equipment to make sure that you can bring in experts from abroad and uh, record all the data that needs to be recorded and so on and so on. Everything to basically do a cryoprotection procedure from A to Z. I hope you found this short introduction to the Tomorrow Biostasis Ambulance and SST procedures helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to write in the comments below or reach out to us directly.